Well, hey friends, I have a Costco haul for you today. And uh, at the end of this, there will also be a bit of a grocery haul. We are Mother Hubbard's Cupboard right now. I feel like every time I do a haul, we are kind of at that point. So I'm quickly just going to show you what is inside of our fridge at this point. So this is a look <laughs> at everything we have. And basically, it's nothing. <laughs> um, we just have a couple leftovers here. So these are actually just peppers from this container here. We have a chicken leg, um, a spaghetti squash au gratin, I'm not sure how to say that, and um, a part of a steak left over from Father's Day. But other than that, that is pretty much all that we have in the fridge. And even our condiments are fairly low. Lots of salad dressing and barbecue sauce. But Anyway, so that is what things are looking like. So let me show you what my husband picked up. Okay, so we got our standard three bags of milk, 2% for the kiddos, um, a big block of marble cheese. This is always a staple in our house. Three Greek yogurts. These are the 0% plain Greek yogurts, and I love these. I use them in savory and sweet dishes. I sweeten them myself with um, stevia sweetener. We got two pounds of butter, half and half cream, some almond milk, unsweetened, and our coffee. We love this Kirkland brand coffee. We grind up the beans in our magic bullet every couple of days. And we got some bananas, strawberries, and two dozen eggs. Uh, mustard, which is um, obviously came two to a pack, and our uh, white vinegar. So I love this. I keep one of these inside of my laundry room, just under the um, laundry uh, sink. Under the sink. Under the sink of my laundry room. Um, I keep one of these, and I like to add it into my laundry. It softens the clothes, it helps remove stench, and it keeps our washer um, pretty clean from any sort of scent. We do have a front loader and that can kind of be something that front loaders are prone to. The other one we will actually just keep into the kitchen and use it for cooking purposes. We have been out of my favorite pink Himalayan sea salt. This has a lot of really great health benefits so um, if you see this at your Costco pick it up. It's a really great um, salt. Honey bunches of oats. My kids absolutely love cereal. In fact Colt requested cereal for breakfast today, or I mean, not breakfast, of course he'd eat that at breakfast. He requested it for lunch, so he finished off the last of the cereals, so Shane picked up some more. And then um, tomorrow, he and Aubrey are going to be doing something at their school. They are doing something for Father's Day, um, and he has to pack a lunch. So we got some junky food uh, for their lunches because he's just kind of really excited to spend that time with her. Um, so anyways, they love these Welch's fruit snacks. These are so, so good. So he picked up a box of those. These soft and chewy Kirkland brand granola bars, which are kind of the best. Like, these are addicting, and I need to keep myself away from them because they are not good good for true mouthy mama. <laughs> um, and then he wanted to do a sort of fruit salad, so he got a bunch of these uh, fruit cocktails. And then lastly, we picked up uh, this organic sprouted green bread from Silver Hills, and I love this stuff. My kids actually really enjoy it too. So I'm trying to steer us away from uh, white bread and things like that. I don't eat white bread, but it's a big weakness. <laughs> so if it's in my house, I want to eat it. And my kids, when I had this last time, they loved it. They ate it great with their toast. They had sandwiches. It never seemed to bother them that there were a lot of seeds and things in this. So I thought, you know what, if it's not going to bother them, we're going to just keep on getting this. And then lastly, for this Costco portion of the haul, I, we have uh, paper towels and toilet paper. So we still have a lot of groceries to get. Like I said, it's really Mother Hubbard's cupboard here. And I've made a menu plan and we're out of a lot of staples. So my plan is, is that tomorrow we will go and finish our grocery shopping. Um, I might add it to the end of this haul or I might do it in its own separate one. But this is purchased 
from the regular grocery store. It's just a couple of things. Um, Shane picked up these buns for sausages. These are $10 each, 10 for $10, and they are really good. Um, so he, we got those, and then this was um, some uh, lunch meat. Wow, it only came to $2.94. Wow. It was $0.94 cents or $0.98 cents a pound, so pretty good deal there. And then he must have picked this up for himself, these Twizzler nibs. So that is it for this portion of the grocery haul. I'm well, hey my friends, it is Tuesday evening. And that is thunder. <laughs> we just got back from groceries and I'm going to share with you what we picked up. We still have a little bit more um, items to go. I think we're going to go to Costco yet again and pick up a few things. Um, when Shane went the other night, I didn't yet have a meal plan. I made a meal plan today and it is for the next two weeks and some of the things that we needed um, are a better deal at Costco. So we're gonna go there and I will show you that haul once we end up doing that. But let me share with you what I picked up at the grocery store this evening. Okay, so we've got some hamburger and hot dog buns. We have, um, Canada Day coming up, which is sort of like Canada's Independence Day, so we will probably likely do some sort of grilling or something with our bonfire. Um, we do have a bonfire in our yard, and so uh, we've already started with our campfires, so of course these things will come in handy. Some dry roasted peanuts, some pickles, Parmesan cheese, some um, tricolored pasta for a pasta salad. Um, multi green Cheerios. So the Cheerios were $2.99, and if you bought this particular size of Cheerios, you would get a two liter of chocolate milk free. I had a coupon for that, so I took advantage of that. <laughs> Shane picked up this sugar crisp cereal <laughs> for himself. Yuck. Um, pretzels, some tortilla chips, uh, applesauce, some tomato sauce and three packs of applesauce. So these are all unsweetened. This is apple peach mango, apple berry, and then the one in the back is just a regular one. Um, I got some blanched sliced almonds for an almond cake that I'm going to make, kind of like a crumb cake. Um, and we got some mini Ritz uh, cheese crackers and then these vegetable crackers. If you are new to my channel, um, I live in Canada where there is um, English and French are both languages, and so English and French need to be on everything. And so sometimes, if you're wondering what that is, that's the French. So I got an English cucumber and four yellow zucchinis and one green zucchini. And some garlic, tomatoes, uh, strawberries. This was our free chocolate milk. Some whipping cream, lettuce, broccoli, and tomatoes, uh, tomatoes, onions. Um, the coleslaw was three for five dollars. I have a coleslaw recipe that is so stinking good and I make it all of the time. It's kind of a staple for me. I love it as a side, so I was really excited to see that these were on sale. I also picked up these bananas. So there's three here and they're 50 cents. So this was kind of on the cart with the reduced produce. So I'm going to set these aside and let them brown up, and these will be for a banana cake. I've got two packages of light cream cheese, some baby carrots, some smoked bratwurst sausage thingies, some cottage cheese, and some peach uh, flavored water. So it's sweetened with stevia, and there's no artificial flavors in this. So this is kind of a really nice alternative to pop or even just to... Um, regular plain water. It's kind of a fun little thing in your mouth. <laughs> so then over here, so this is our cold stuff. So I've got two packages of spinach, two packages of frozen broccoli, and Shane picked up this turtle's ice cream for himself. And uh, so this is the portion of my haul where I got things that are not edible. <laughs> Trust me, hairspray, this is my ride or die. I Anytime I try a different hairspray, I 
I hate it. And I come right back to my Tresemme. I always get the green kind, so the number four extra hold. This stuff is the bomb.com. It gives you big, beautiful hair that's touchable and movable and is the best. <laughs> um, I needed hair dye. I dye my own hair. And this particular brand was uh, on sale for $5. So I am actually going to head back and pick up a few more boxes because typically I spend around... 15 16 17 dollars for one box of hair dye and Shane said when I got in the car he's like well why don't you just get a few more and I thought gosh why don't I so the place where I got this is just the drugstore it's just kind of down the road so I am going to get head back and get a few more boxes I am loving this concealer this is the Maybelline Master Conceal in light medium and I'm loving it I had been using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'd use that for I don't know two years maybe and then I tried this and this is now my second tube and I love this so much more it's a little bit more um, concealer coverage love it and then my borax I am loving borax as well in my laundry so we have hard water and I add half a scoop of borax in with my clothes and they come out so bright I'm loving it um, I like to use these Lysol wipes for cleaning the toilet so those are on sale for four dollars and then I need some body wash so I got this live clean exotic nectar body wash and then we also picked up two packages or two um, 24 packs of Nestle water, water bottles. Um, we're going to be going to camp next month. So a month from now, actually, we will be there. And there is, you can't drink the drinking water. So you need to bring in all of your water or you need to purchase it at a little camp store. And with it being on sale, um, makes more sense to do that now because $1.88 is way cheaper than what I can get for it there. So that is it for this portion of the haul. I'm going to get this stuff put away and I will chat with y'all later. Well hey friends, we've got the last of the grocery haul and then we are done for groceries for at least two weeks, probably longer. Again, we were out of a lot of staples. So let me flip you around and show you what we picked up from Costco. So there is this gigundous, wow this is big, <laughs> package of hot dogs. This will be so great for um, bonfire season. Yay! Um, a big, huge container of Hellman's mayonnaise. So I was a big Miracle Whip fan, but that is not Trim Healthy Mama approved. Um, so we have switched to mayo. And on sale at the regular grocery store, at the discounted grocery store even, Hellman's mayonnaise was on sale for $4.88. This big, huge container, 1.8 liters, was $5.98. So, yay for that. We got two sour creams, bacon. This is our favorite, favorite bacon. Um, it's a two-pack here. It is Kirkland brand, and it is a maple-flavored bacon. It's thick cut, so only like one or two pieces really can fill you up. It's absolutely delicious. We got a pack of chicken and then a pack of hamburger. Today is Tuesday, so we had Italian sausages. We had broccoli. Actually, we ended up having beans. And we had a leftover spaghetti squash au gratin. I don't know how to say that. Um, Wednesday, we're going to have garlic ranch chicken with tomatoes and beans. Thursday will be meatballs with sauce and buns and cauliflower mash. And so it's kind of like a mashed potato, but you use cauliflower. And it's really tasty. And applesauce. Friday will be a pizza casserole. That's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. I don't think my kids will go for it. So they are going to make their own little pizzas on little round nan buns that I actually have in the freezer. So they can make their own. We'll do veggie sticks and fruit. Saturday will be BLTs. Um, and probably coleslaw. Sunday we are usually over at my in-laws house so um, I just have planned for leftovers. If we are home we can do something like pancakes or something simple and easy for that. Monday we will do um, an Italian sausage bake. So this is actually a recipe from um, Nikki Cotton at Carrie Grace here on YouTube and I will leave that recipe link down below. It is a favorite in our house. So we are using leftover Italian sausages from today in this recipe. They're in the freezer right now. We will probably do salad and fruit. Tuesday will be taco salad. 
um, I will just do mine over lettuce and the family will probably do it over those tortilla chips. Wednesday, I'm going to do a homemade macaroni and cheese and a homemade chicken nugget and we'll do broccoli. Um, Thursday, this is um, on the 30th, this is the last day of school for Aubrey, which we are so excited about. So I think we might try and go um, have dinner out. I have a gift card um, for this restaurant called Montana's that she loves, I love, it's kind of a family favorite. So um, I think we will do that. Friday is the f um, July 1st. That is a holiday here in Canada. So we will likely... Um, there will be barbecues and different things. So anyways, we'll have some hot dogs and buns. And around this time, we'll actually, um, the strawberries will be ready to be picked. So I'm hoping to pick some strawberries. And so we'll um, do strawberries for a side. And then Saturday, we'll do, um, my friend has invited us over to their camp for um, July 1st celebration, even though it's on Saturday. Um, so we'll probably eat there. But... If not, um, I'll do this Big Mac salad, which is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. I have some chicken nuggets in the freezer to eat up for the kiddos, and we'll do peas. Sunday, I will make a Lazy Lasagna. That's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe, noodle-free, and that's where all the spinach comes in. Um, Monday, Aubrey starts camp. She will be going to a summer day camp. So, easy recipe, we're going to do Bang & Ranch chicken with um, its Greek yogurt and sour cream and... Um, some spices. It's delicious. It's my favorite. We'll do some salad and corn and probably beans. Tuesday, the 5th, we will just eat whatever is left in our fridge and pantry in preparation for groceries. So that's about two weeks. I have some goodies that I want to try to make in the next two weeks. So um, these are all Trim Healthy Mama recipes. Um, a strawberry pound cake, which looks so good. Um, black bottom cupcakes, skinny chocolate. Um, this is Busta Myth banana cake. It's a really good recipe. Um, an almond crumb cake, and then there were I found this recipe for some easy ice cream that I can eat, so that will be good for me. And um, I might just make muffins for the family. I don't have any flour anymore, so we'll see how that goes. I might have to improvise. So, anyways, that is what our meal plan is looking like made a little note to myself about lunches, so I'll probably do some like ham sandwiches, and um, chips and salsa. I like to add Greek yogurt in with my salsa for protein, and a smoothie, and then of course always leftovers, fruit and veggies.